Taurus. Hope you were doing well, friends. This is Jamie from Soulvine Guidance, and we're going to check in with your energies and see what is happening. For those of you that are watching this before New Year comes into fruition, action, space and time, I'm wishing you a fab new year. We're going to do some further readings to see what's coming up for you guys um, and check that out next week. But we're going to see right now, you know, connecting into the energies of potential and what's possible for you. If we haven't met, awesome to connect. Uh, we do Zodiac signs weekly and Pisces uh, daily, Monday through Friday. Sometimes we sneak in the weekend. Um, but in saying that, you know, feel welcome to check out your sun, moon, rising energies and obviously it what is connected for you with Pisces, whether you have other planets or things like that um, around, you may get the message that you need. All right, Taurus, broken heart, hostilities and adjacent possibilities is what is showing up for you. What's coming up first and foremost is I feel like there might be some form of separation of some kind is what I'm getting. And there's one person that is sad and there's one person, I'm not saying that they're not sad, but I feel like there's just conflict and you don't know potentially how to deal with this. Um, that's kind of what I, I'm getting here with this energy. Obviously, we're going to dive in a bit deeper, but um, yeah, I just feel like someone's sad, doesn't know what to do. And then there's this other person is just like, Anything you say, anything you try is just going to come at you and it's not easy to navigate or deal with or know the best solution. Uh, and I think, yeah, it's just someone is feeling heavy. Someone is feeling at a loss here. But then we've got adjacent possibilities. So this is like hopeful to recognize that there is something that can help shift this if you're in this situation. Um, I mean, this could even, it doesn't matter if it's a relationship, a workplace, a friendship, there's something here that it's like, you're trying to come from a good place, you're trying to be caring, supportive, but when you're trying to approach someone regarding a situation, whatever it is, it's just, you're butting heads, you're hitting a brick wall, and then when the brick wall's responding, you know? Um, it's just like you can't get through to them. And if you do, you're kind of getting hacked at the same time with words, with aggressiveness, whatever it may be. But Spirit's letting you know there is a way to resolve this. It's just not doing it the way that you're doing it. So let's dive a bit deeper on what that is um, for you here, Taurus, so we can learn a little bit more regarding this situation. All right, what can you share more about this broken heart? Yeah. You know, for some of you, this is like kind of rocking your world. And I think you're trying to look for an answer. Like, how do I make this work? What am I doing wrong? I think there's a lot of questioning and you're, you're kind of isolating yourself a little bit to try and like, how do I, how do I make this happen? What do, what do I need to do? You know, um, I'm also getting like, I feel like someone's thinking of you is what I'm getting here as well, Taurus. Um, interestingly, I think while you might be in this energy, I feel someone else is. They're just not showing it or not letting you know, okay, is what I'm getting. And then the Hermit energy. So we've got Four of Inspiration, the Eight of Voices, the Queen of Materials, and the wheel okay you know someone's really trying to connect in here on how do we get more how do we get on the same page how do we get in a place that is whole that feels safe that feels back at home so if this is a, a relationship that's a little bit um wobbly i don't know if that's the right word um I feel like you're trying to find a way to reconnect, to get back on the same page, to get back to this wholeness that you had with this person or this situation, okay? But whatever it is, either which way, both of you or the situation, whatever it is, you're both in a place of like, I'm kind of getting, how did we get here? How, do, how can we just make this work? 
But I think at the same time, like you're both caught in your head about it. You're both caught in your head, not sure what to do, not sure what to make of something is what I feel is happening. But eventually someone ends up stepping out here and going, you know what? I'm not going to sit in this energy anymore. I'm going to shine. I'm going to claim back my place in this world and remembering who I am, what I bring to the table. And I'm going to step into that energy because that's where I feel good. And that's, I know who I am and that's where I'm going to shine. And I feel, I, you know, this is the first time I've ever noticed this. I don't know if you can see it. This is the energy here, this feminine energy. And then she's showing up here again, like, hi, you know, it's kind of like, hi, yep. Take a photo of me last longer. Cause I'm awesome. This is kind of the energy that I'm getting. This is like the queen of pentacles while they're grounded. They're very happy of what they've created. You know, they're very happy of what they've made of themselves. They're very happy of, and I'm not saying it's egotistical in some way, but there's a little bit of a kick there, you know, like, yeah, look at me. I made it happen. I'm fierce and bold, but I'm also fun and flirty is kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Um, and I've never had that before with this card, but it, funny, that's just what's coming on through Taurus here. Um, and then with the wheel, interestingly, we've got adjacent possibilities and the wheel showing up here. So I feel like something is going to shift. That's going to awaken, um, some form of cycle that needs to shift or close or lesson that needs to be learned as part of this. But let's dive a little bit deeper on what this hermit energy is. Yeah. Whatever's happening here, someone is trying to navigate. How do we get back to this connection? How do we get back to this solid place? Like we were a team and I feel like this is what someone is really trying to navigate here, um, to make it connected, solid back into that safe space of, just working together, supporting each other is what I'm getting here. You might even find too, like as part of this hermit energy, you may be going within trying to figure out like, what is it that I missed as part of what our plan was or what, um, the agreement was or something of that nature. I feel like at some point you guys had come together, you had a clear direction on something, but it's like all of a sudden it's like, what did I miss here is, is the energy that I'm feeling. So with this four of inspiration and the night of materials, I do feel you're going to get some form of communication come on in. And this might be just really important time for you to take a pause. It's fine to be in hermit energy, but whoever this relates to, but I feel like it's good to take a pause because it's allowing like spirit to do its thing at the same time. And I feel like some form of communication is going to come on through. It may not be as quick as you think, but it's definitely going to show up. Okay. And then we've got the sun energy. I'm liking the sun energy, but I just want to get a couple more to kind of see what this final energy is showing up as. Okay. Okay. nice like i said with this ace of uh, sorry eight of voices with the queen of materials it's like all of a sudden someone shifts out of this eight of voices i feel like both of you are in this in your head looping around the thoughts and experience that you've been in trying to figure out how do i make this work how do we get out of this and someone's communicated here someone's showing up wants to kind of make things okay you might even find someone else comes in to make things okay. The Knight of Materials is like the Knight of Pentacles. So solid opportunity offer with some form of news. Like I want to make this work. So this could be related to work. This could be related to some form of stability in a connection. But with this Eight of Voices and the Sun, it's letting me know someone is choosing to see and shift perspectives, looking at the possibilities, the potential, just changing the narrative. And I think this is a very powerful force because then you step into this queen of material. So someone is owning who they are, remembering who they are and their awesomeness as part of this. And what's super cool with this magician, it's like, you're just, you're making things happen. You're looking for a potential solution and you're showing that this is not bothering you anymore. And this is really working in your favor because what you're going to start to see is things are going to shift. And as part of that shift, someone's like, Hey, what you doing over there, Taurus? 
what, what's going on with you? I want to know more. I want to, let's talk. Let's figure this out. It's like all of a sudden someone is seeing you and wants to be on the same page. They're like, um, it's interesting because the page of voices like is some form of communication, but it's also someone kind of watching what you're up to, what you're doing. So whoever this connection is, it's like you're shifting some form of energy and really creating the life that you want, but stepping into that energy first. Okay. So whoever this page of voices is, I just feel like they're really, I don't know. They're just up to something. Just be careful too, that you're not going to get like a little bit manipulated with some form of communication or kind of like, you know, that kind of talk where someone's like trying to give you a compliment, but giving you a slap in the face at the same time. You're like, hang on, how am I meant to take that? So, you know, just be a bit mindful because I think someone is just, I don't know. They get, what's the word? It's not jealous as such. Yeah, maybe a little bit of envy or like, you should be feeling this way. And you're kind of like, well, I ain't letting that bring me down. And they kind of don't like that, you know? So what can best support you in this situation right now is to expect powerful change. Something is going to shift in your favor here, Taurus, whatever it is, okay? You've got new moon eclipse. So it's interesting because we've got the wheel and when I look at this new moon eclipse, usually it's a cycle, something closing out, subject to what, where it's at. But I feel like a new, a new beginning is happening here is what I feel I'm getting. Now let's, okay, thank you. Um, we're looking at what's the potential challenge here that you need to be aware of. So the challenge might be is like, because you've got a win-win outcome as forecast. So this is about justice, truth, balance, but it working out in both in both scenarios. So I feel like for, for both of you, the challenge, and sometimes it's hard to accept, especially when it's more than one person in a situation. Maybe this is multiple people. Um, maybe this is like, like I said, a partner, a business partner, whatever it might be, a family member, a friend. You get it here, Taurus, but I feel like that might be the challenge is that everyone's looking for a win and not even sure how to make it happen. But, and this is, could be the challenge is getting on the same page to create the win for, for all of you involved. Um, that makes you all feel heard, seen, supported, and acknowledged is what I'm getting. Okay. And that win-win solution, whatever that is. So let's have a look at what you, what might be hidden to help to best support you. What might be hidden here? Hold your vision. Yeah. So I think this is really important aspect here when we see the, um, the eight of voices kind of in the center and with hostilities, someone's in their head about a certain situation, but I feel Taurus, you're shifting your thinking in terms of this scenario and just stepping into this like grounded, happy, doing my thing energy. Okay. Um, and you're being pretty connected to what it is that you want to create in terms of this outcome opportunity, or maybe you're just like, fuck it. And I'm just going to do my thing. Right. But whatever it is, spirit is letting you know the one thing that you can best support yourself in addition to this expect powerful change is just because it's, you haven't seen it yet. And it may not be shifting right now to not stop thinking, believing in something happening because it's going to work out in your favor. Okay. And when I say work out in your favor, you've got a win-win outcome. You've got the sun shining, you're manifesting, you're stepping into your power. Things are shifting like, Hey, change is coming, but it's change. That's going to be working for you, not against you. So going to leave that with you, Taurus, stay well, stay bright, appreciate a like, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow and get connected to more people. Have a fab new year and we'll connect with you soon. Bye now.